What is up, my friends? How's it going? It's Black Friday. The blackest of Fridays. And I'm not going outside. I wouldn't dare venture out there. Neither would Burnsy. I told Burnsy what Black Friday is, and he hit in the corner for like seven hours, cowering. He was very, very scared. Um, we're playing some more Arclight Phoenix, and um, the first time I ever heard the song Hotline Bling, which is a song I used for our introduction before the stream started, was when um, I heard Todd Anderson sing it at karaoke before one of the players' championships, and it was divine. Todd Anderson, A plus karaoke. -er. All right, so we are playing. Um, we're still trying to figure out Arclight Phoenix in modern. Uh, we played a number of versions of this deck so far. I've not tried this version yet. Um, we're also going to play the version that Ross Merriam played at the team open that he didn't tell me about as his friend and teammate. More on that later. But we're going to start with this version. This is a version that hybridizes Hollow One into the deck. Um, already playing looting and other discard effects. We're also playing uh, Burning Inquiry and Goblin Lore, which can get uh, Arc Lights in the Graveyard and make our Revelers good. Also turns on Hollow One. So... Could be sweet. Could not be sweet. Uh -huh. We're going to try it out and see how uh, that Hotline Bling and uh, an Arc Light Bling and see um, if we can figure out the mystery that is Arc Light Phoenix in Modern because frankly Arc Light Phoenix is very, very good and the best shell has not been found yet. Six months. Seems like only yesterday. I subscribe you more today than yesterday. But not as much as next month. Thanks three sub, Barry. Appreciate that. Why only one Ramanap ruins? Because you're much more likely to take damage off it than you are to damage your opponent with it. Um, I think that you'll activate this maybe once a league, if lucky. And it's likely to deal you some points of damage because all of our spells cost one red. This is not a free card to play. Um, Alright, let's go. Black Friday. Arc Light Bling. You know that only mean one thing. Right, Burnsy? That's right, Burnsy's great. Huh. Sand's pretty bad, but it has a looting in it. And I've found playing these Arclight Phoenix decks that Faithless Looting is the best card by about 14 miles. Um, we're just gonna keep this. The deck only plays 18 lands. So our looting should hopefully turn up some non-lands. We can go from there. This hand could be anything. Could even be a boat. What's up, Rick? I'm going to be trashing Ross a lot in the next uh, video, Rick. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. On Team BCW, we all love and support each other very much by trashing on each other. More Bomac Couriers? Bomac Couriers is kind of cool. Alright. Bombs away. Hollow One, Metamorphos. I wonder if Street Wraith should be in this deck or not. Alright, we're gonna dump these two lands. We'll see how next turn goes. Probably playing Hollow One next turn. We'll see. Hopefully we can get that arc light to bling off this goblin lore, because we can go Manamorphos, Goblin Lore, gut shot. Ooh, what's this? A little Bernie action. Turn two hollow one should be very good here. Top card flame blade adept. Hmm. I think we're still gonna stick with the plan. Of getting this Hollow One in play, although I'm sure I'll discard Hollow One to Goblin Lore, so it's almost a guarantee. These the Hollow One decks are usually too high variance for my tastes. They're not bad, but they're just they're scary. Here we go. 
I can't even look. Oh, I can't even look. I bet you we drew an Arclight Phoenix and a Hollow One, and we discarded both Hollow Ones, and the Arclight Phoenix is still in our hand. Close. Close. Okay, well, we discarded a Hollow One, but we also drew a Hollow One, so that's nice. Um, we also discarded Gut Shots. Even if we had discarded the Phoenix, wouldn't be able to get it back anyway, but... Definitely takes, um, if you want to work on your mental game in Magic, I think playing Goblin Lore and Burning Inquiry um, is a good way to do that. Because if you can handle playing these cards in a serious, constructive format, you can handle anything. Because the swings are real. Imagine a taxi and probe in this deck. All right, well... We have all basic lands and a turn 2-4-4, four, four. so that's going to be pretty good against Burn. Just got to embrace the randomness. Yep, I agree. When that arc light bling, they can attack. They have a Searing Blaze. All right. Let's see what our top card is, and we'll decide if we want to block or not. This almost, this is Scream Searing Blaze. A land? Alright. I'm fine for a block, I think. If we don't block, they're going to Searing Blaze my Flame Blade Adept at some point. Um, and I'd rather just take the two for one here and not take any damage, aside, the bla aside from the Blaze damage, and just play Flame Blade and Arc Light and stuff like that. So, I'm going to block. It's also like, maybe it's 10% chance they have like a Bolt or a Helix and not... A Searing Blaze, which is much, much better for us. Alright, great. An Arc Light Shell with Mutagenic Growth? I don't believe so. There's so many different ways to build this deck. You can go Kiln Fiend, you can go Hollow One, you can go Blue Black, blue Red. There's so many ways to build a deck. Okay. We're just going to play land flame blade adept and say go. Flashing back looting doesn't really do much besides just put phoenix in the graveyard and I might just want to cast it next turn honestly. How good is arc light phoenix really? Exceptionally good. Format defining good. There's a reason why there's like 14 different decks with this card in it floating around right now, and everyone's just trying to figure out the right shell for it. Alright, so no blocks. We're almost assuredly going to bolt it after they cast a spell here, assuming they do. No, interesting. If I bolt this and they have two lightning bolts, it's an unmitigated disaster. Um, I almost blocked for that reason. Because they would play a spell, but then they had like a Boros Charm. That I, would, I should have blocked. That was stupid. Because Boros Charm is only, they can only cast one spell. Yeah. That's to be actual double lightning bolt. I'll just kill it. There's no way they have double lightning bolt. I should have blocked there to force the action on them. Burning Inquiry. Wow, it could be anything. Well, now I'm happy I bolted. Um, all right, let's spin the wheel and see how lucky we get. Obviously, we want, we want all three of the cards in our hand in the graveyard. So I'm sure we're going to mill three here. Alright, they discarded Land, Land, Skullcrack. We discarded Manamorphose, Gutshot, Land. Okay. Um, 
I guess we're going to cast this Goblin Lord and see how lucky we can get. I imagine our Flame Blade Adapt is probably not going to hit them. But, Arclight Phoenix so far, allergic to the graveyard. Come on. Arclight Phoenix still allergic to the graveyard. <laughs> we discarded Looting Mountain Goblin Lore. <clears throat> Could be worse. Question now is do we play this land or not? Um, I might just want to like hard cast Phoenix. So probably. Leaves Bolt up too. I guess we'll attack first and see what they do. See if they kill this Flame Blade Adapter or not. Wow. The old seven ball. All right. We're going to play the land. So we have Bolt available to Bolt a Haste Creature. And then we're probably just going to hard cast Phoenix next turn. Um, if we flashback looting, it's just like we can get Phoenix in the graveyard. We don't really have the gas necessary to, to, to bring it back yet. Um, definitely looking for one of our revelers. That's probably our best possible draw. Okay, that's a pretty good draw, because now we can discard the Phoenix and probably draw a spell. Even a land is fine, so... Another Burning Inquiry. Alright. So, now the question is, we have to cast the Bolt first, right? We can't just, like, cast Inquiry and risk discarding our spells and drawing lands. So... All right, I guess we're all in. We're gonna cast Bolt and then mill three. I mean, theoretically we should draw at least one more Phoenix, because we're almost halfway through our deck. Mill three. Nope, Mountain Mountain Inquiry. Up, oh, Fiery Temper, that's gas. Upstairs, please. So we've, like, we've, we've obviously spun our wheels here a bit. It is turn five, but we're still winning. They're at nine and we're attacking for lethal. So, you know, despite drawing like half our deck and not seeing any more Phoenixes or Red Revelers or anything. So, not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. This matchup seems pretty cool for us. Um, we don't really have any sideboard cards. I don't want Eidolon, don't want Shrine, don't want Dismember, don't want Moon, don't want Corn Script. Alright, main deck it is. No Dragon's Claws in this sideboard. You hey folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis, how's it going? We're playing uh, a, few, a few different Arclight Phoenix decks today in Modern. <clears throat> Hope you're all full of turkey and hopefully relaxing and not in line at Black Friday stuff. If you're out shopping Black Friday right now, raise your hand. Like if you're waiting online at like Best Buy or something. I wanna know. I'm curious. Ooh, this hand is pretty wild. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're playing this deck. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. Of course, you're watching it on YouTube, make sure you subscribe on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a lazy stream for the last few days, kind of just cubing and stuff, just having fun. It's my record. We just won our first game. We're undefeated. We are 0-0, zero and zero, up a game in round one. Yeah. A shit, a shit race would make this hand very good. Good old Burnsy. You used to call me on my... <sighs> nice, thanks for following. Perfect little uh, Drake Arclight bling sound clip there. Alright, big draw. Goblin lore. So, I guess we just cast Looting now, because we can Goblin Lower the Hollow One next turn. Yeah. Uh, 
Looting Temper. Wow. Next turn is going to be dope. Please don't play an Eidolon. I guess Surgical or Tormod's Crypt would be bad too, but... I think Reveler is still very good in this deck. Um, I think Street Wraith is also good, but... Alright, they're pausing, they have Surgical. That's annoying. Probably have Surgical, I don't know. There would be no reason to Surgical until combat on our turn, so... I think Tormod's Crypt might be the best hate card for Burn because they have a fast clock. You just want a free thing that won't interrupt your curve. That's Boris Charm, alright. Well, we're going for it next turn. Hopefully, uh, they don't have Surgical. Hurler versus Crackling Drake. We're playing Crackling Drake next, so we'll find out. Oh, hey. We were just talking about you. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go Manamorphose, Looting, Madness, Fiery Temper. Bring back both Phoenixes. Burn does not usually, usually run Rest in Peace, uh, because it, you, it's just bad in Burn. You should run a maximum of one Rest in Peace in Burn, because you never want to draw non-Burn spells. Draw two more Phoenixes. I guess one is fine, but... Uh, we're going to discard a Temper and one of these extraneous Goblin Lores. Madness. Shoot that thing. And then try to move to combat. Open enough Surgical. Sweet. We're playing Ross's uh, version with, with Crackling Drake and in the league after this one. Here's something you can't understand. Do I could just kill a germ? Kill a germ. How does it feel to have your own theme song? On stream. Goober has his own emote, but you have your own theme song. There's the Eidolon. Alright. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five spells in our graveyard. We're gonna want to cast this hollow one first though. So we're gonna we're gonna goblin lore and just discard all of our uh, hollow ones. Tin man. So no one's in line at Black Friday? No one raised their hand? That's good. Alright, um, yeah, we're gonna Goblin Lore here, and probably just discard our, our Hollow one. Take two. We're gonna draw Fiery Temper, Hollow One, Mountain, and we're gonna discard Hollow One, Hollow One, Goblin Lore. Oh, damn. Never mind. We just started both Revelers and a Bolt, which is pretty good, but we have double Hollow One, and that's gas. Uh, they only have one card in hand, too. Jeez. I don't know if I cast any more spells. Yeah, kill a drone, no problem, my friend. The deck seemed cool. Yeah, we just attack. I don't think I bother playing anything else. We're, at, at, we're pretty safe at 11, and they're just like super dead on board for the most part. Obviously, any spells they cast, they, they take damage too, so there's no reason to play anything else. Unless they have, like, Shattering Spree or something like that, which would be absurd. Uh, I suppose, like, they went land double smash smithereens. That would be scary. Anyone know what store or company or anything 
has the best phone deals. I'm not really big on Black Friday, Black Friday shopping, but Nicole and I do need new phones pretty badly. So, anyone have any uh, information on that? Anyone work at like Best Buy or something, or perhaps get their own deal for a phone, or I don't know. Sam's Club has good phone deals. All right, they have no cards, and now we're going for the kill here. We're gonna cast. We're gonna cast the uh, Goblin Lore. I guess we can cast the looting instead. Now nah, let's cast Goblin Lore and get lucky. Bang! Target, you have a $300 gift card. Nicole's at work right now. Nicole's our... She's the shopping person. She's like the... She knows how to like do all the coupon stuff. And she does our, our food shopping. She's like insane with all that stuff. I'm just really bad at it. So I want to try and impress her. When she gets home, and be like, yo... We go on Best Buy, they have $400 off an iPhone S4 D whatever thing, you know? I want an iPhone. Me and Nicole have iPhone like 6s and they're pretty old and slow. Alright, pretty easy match win there. Uh, Burn seems pretty good for us. Uh, the card Hollow One is especially good against them. We take zero damage from our mana base. Feels pretty nice. iPhones are the bomb. Whenever I use or see someone use an Android phone, it just looks sluggish to me. Like, you touch stuff and it just happens like a second after you touch it. Just, I don't know. I've used an iPhone my entire life, even when I was a kid. And um, <laughs> iPhones are the bomb. See, I cracked my screen. My phone's really old. Eh. Cracked it. You can't really see it that well. iPhones are great. One oh. That's quick too. Okay. Um. Bun mulligans again. We can keep. We can turn to goblin lore. Get lucky. Breeding pool, untapped. Glistener elf. Alright, um, our hand's a little slow for this, but I guess we'll make, ooh. Um, I wish I was young. I would be young again. Alright, well, hopefully they don't kill us in turn two, and we get to cast the goblin lore and discard all of our hollow ones. My iPhone's fine, it's just old. So it just goes slowly because the battery's kind of slow, and I, I cracked the screen with my mouth. It's pretty embarrassing. I was in a, I was on like an hour sleep, hungover, catching a flight home on, um, on a, uh, Monday morning after a tournament, and I had I my bags, I was getting out of my Uber, and for some reason I put my iPhone in my mouth, just like to hold it. And I, I gently pressed down my tooth and cracked it because I'm just the stupidest person to ever walk this planet. So I cracked my screen because I'm dumb. What's up, Rebel? Reed Dukes, black, green, and modern. It's okay. It's like most fair decks. It's not overwhelmingly good, but I would love to have it last turn. All right, well, we're going to cast Goblin Lore. This is what's going to happen. We're going to draw... Phoenix, Hollow One, Lightning Bolt, and we're gonna discard Hollow One, Hollow One, Metamorphose. Close. We drew a third Hollow One. All right, well, this is pretty good. Now we have two huge blockers for this Listener Elf. It didn't play an unblockable creature or Nexus, which is great. And now we have a pretty fast clock too. Uh, we have maximized velocity in our graveyard. Tip, when holding things in your mouth, use your lips instead of your teeth. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we are going to block. They're going to play a pump spell, and that's okay. I guess I got to block with both, in case they had a plus four, plus four effect. But maybe blocking with bolts better. 
It's fine though. Bedlam Reveler. One, two, three. Metamorphose is four. Uh that's what we we'll see we'll see what we draw here. Alright, let's guess Metamorphose. If we get really lucky, we can reveler and discard the Phoenix and put it into play for free, and that would be insane. So Fiery Temper. One, two, three, four. Um hmm. Interesting. I guess we could discard the We can cast Velocity. That could be a discard outlet for a Phoenix here. That's pretty dope. We can go like Adept, Land, Discard Phoenix, give you the Adept, Haste, Madness. We can't Madness also. Now we're short on spells. We play, play one spell. We can't play the Adept and the Fiery Temper and the Phoenix. So maybe we just temper the Glistener Elf here. A lot of options. A lot of options. Um, so we have a third mana in our hand. We can go Adept, Velocity, Temper. Doesn't discard Phoenix, though. And then we can Reveler next turn. But we're going to lose the Maximize Velocity, so we're only going to have four spells in our graveyard. All right, I think I like this. Let's go Flame Blade Adept. Velocity targeting the Flame Blade Adept. Discarding Temper. We're going to Temper the Glistener Elf, and if they if they can protect it, then we're going to leave back the Adept to block it. And if they can't protect it, we get to attack for a lot. Okay. I only have two cards left, so. It's fine. Alright, so we'll attack with the hollow one. And just say go. As long as they have no unblockable effects, blocking's pretty great. And every block, without a Noble Hierarch or a Pendlehaven, every block it just forces a pump spell, which is great for us too, so. Burning Inquiry. Oh boy. I think we're about to spin the wheel, folks. Hold on to your hats. Uh, we could just cast a Bedlam Reveler for four. That's pretty awful. Could just hard cast Phoenix. That's super low power. We're not playing uh, this card to not cast it. Discarded Arclight, Arclight, Reveler, Inquiry. That's really good. Um... So now we just need to play, we need to get a spell off of our Reveler. This is, that was insane. All right, their last card is a pump spell. We cast Reveler. Any spell brings back, brings back Phoenix. Oh my god. Wah! More Phoenixes. Discard Flame Blade Adepts, keep Mountains, sure. When that arc light bling. It can only mean one thing. That's pretty dope so far, honestly. So, dismembers come in. Which member? One of these dismembers. Um, what don't we want? I'm gonna cut like the maximized velocities maybe and like Reveler? Reveler's great. Like they're not gonna have graveyard eight. In fact doesn't play graveyard eight. Should make sure we don't die to the unblockable thing. Um Kind of temper. It's the most awkward of our removal spells. I think Adept's fine. We, we we want blockers and fast attackers. 
When are they going to ban all Phyrexian mana in Modern? They might have Surgical. The big question is, you need to figure out if they're playing Surgical Extraction, and like a precise answer for Arclight, or a broad sweeping, you have no graveyard answer like Rest in Peace, because that makes Reveler really bad too. Eidolon seems good, but I, I don't know what I would cut for it, you know? Runaway Steam Can's not very good. Um, it's just super high variance. It's When it's good, it's great, but very often it just dies or is too slow. And you're always trading down on mana on it. It's just like, it's just not that good. Having played it a lot in the original versions of his deck, I just didn't like it. I think all these other plans of either Thing in the Ice or Hollow One or more Burn are all better. Noble Hierarch. All right. Lightning Bolt. I think I'm fine with this. I was going to play Looting, but now that I have two removal spells, I'm fine just bolting this. I do love Bedlam Reveler. Wow. So they might have a, um, a Glistener, not Glistener, uh, a Blighted Agent, and they're waiting to play it with a uh, Protection. That has a lot of Bedlam Revelers. Alright, let's cast Looting. Damn. Let's discard two Revelers. Let's play a land. I guess we can just cast Burning Inquiry. I'm going to be really sad if I discard this Dismember, but we got to get these Revelers going because we are doing... I should have kept the Reveler. That was stupid. I'm, I'm really bad. I should have kept two Revelers, so I am almost assuredly going to have one post inquiry. Now, if I discard this Reveler, we have nothing. What do we have? One million, two cards in the graveyard. Um, this is this is bad. That was a mistake. All right. We just discarded all the cards that we drew. Adept, Manamorphose, Mountain. All right. They discarded Arbor, Vines, Become Events. All right. Three mana, mill three. All right, well, there's your protection spell. Oh. <laughs> I'll take best possible draw for 10,000, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now he gets to go Gutshot, Dismember, Reveler. Wow. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know if I cast Reveler now. I, mean, I I probably do. Like, I don't want to discard this dismember, but I also need to, I, I need to have a threat in play. Like flashback looting. Yeah, we're just casting the Reveler. We, we, need, we need a threat. It's also a blocker. They didn't play a Nexus last turn. If they have another Blighted Agent, we still have a shot to draw removal spells for it. Um, Spell Pierce is reasonable. But that's a card that makes sense here. All right, we're doing it. Gutshot, Fiery Temper. Okay, that's fun. We can go flashback looting, discard Temper, and we have Gutshot too. Alright. 
Spell Pierce. It could have Mutagenic Growth. Spell Pierce. Okay. Bing! Bucking! Now we're attacking for six also, which is fairly relevant. Flame Blade Adept. That's actually pretty good. It gives us, it gives us a blocker of this Glistener Elf. It allows us to keep attacking. Lightning Bolt. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not lethal. Um... Like, we have a blocker for the elf. Hmm. Interesting. Bolt the elf, they probably can protect it. Okay. So now I might actually just not, not even attack. Yeah, I mean, that was dumb. Eh, just say go. They have another pump spell. They just, like, eat our reveler for nothing. It's not nothing, but, like... Well, so much for blocking. Huh, alright. I think attacking there is bad. I think I, I think you can make an argument that I shouldn't have bolted, and then I can attack, but... Which member? Alright, well... We're, uh... We're just casting this. So you can prowess... They have two cards in hand. They probably have a pump spell. They drop a common mentor. We're going to die, probably. They can protect that. N never mind. Okay. Easy as that. Distortion Strike gone forever. Why didn't they target my creature to put a, ca a card in their graveyard? What is wrong with this thing? All the way over here. Spell? That's a spell. Metamorpho Metamorphos is so good. Just a simple little card. Just so good. Well, that's a mountain. But that is lethal. So, attack! You dead yet? Mutagenic Growth, my Bedlam Reveler. Might of All Corrosia, my Bedlam Reveler. No prowess triggers. Dismember, my Bedlam Reveler. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They had to dismember, but uh, couldn't do nothing with it. 2-0 and oh so far. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We are playing Hollow One Arclight Bling. This is another, another version of this Arclight Phoenix deck in Modern. Uh, trying to figure out what the best Arclight Phoenix deck is in Modern. There's Hollow One decks, there's Lava Spike decks, there's Thing in the Ice decks, there's Kiln Fiend decks, there's so many ways to build this deck, and we're just experimenting and trying to find the right one. If you're just tuning in, haven't followed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button, of course, welcome. And if you're watching on YouTube, same thing, make sure you sub to the channel, and uh, keep an eye on my stuff. I do a YouTube video basically every day. I also do a written article for CoolStuffInc.com every Friday, as well as a video article every Monday. Today's article is all about the five cards I'm most thankful for. 
getting in the Thanksgiving spirit here. And uh, check it out. First one is Tyler Striker. The rest you got to find yourself. All right? That's pretty fun. I'll put the link in chat. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. And, of course, CoolStuffInc.com is your number one source for all your gaming needs. Black Friday Madness. Iconic Masters. You name it. Only the weekend and Sunday. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. What's up, Sonic? Yes, usually Hollow and Dex play Street Wraith, and we are not playing Street Wraith. Street Wraith only has synergy in this deck with Hollow One, though. There is no synergy with basically any other card except except Adep Flame, Flame Blade Adept, I get. Except Flame Blade Adept, I guess. Um, no prowess triggers, no spell triggers. Not a, not a sorcerer instant for Bedlam Reveler, so. All right. Um, this hand is not great, but I guess we're going to keep it. We'll just trust that Goblin Lore is going to be insane. Okay. Better lucky than good. Alright, so we are playing against the Thing in the Ice version of his deck. Okay, that means we're going in. We're going to play Goblin Lore. We're going to draw... We're going to draw Fiery Temper, Bedlam Reveler, Mountain, and discard Hollow One, Bedlam Reveler, Lightning Bolt. We discarded Mountain, Lightning Bolt, Mountain, and we drew... Gutshot, Burning Inquiry, Hollow One. That's not bad. It seems doubtful they can flip this thing next turn. So, this could be worse. We're pretty close to Reveler. We can bolt Gutshot, the thing in the ice. Gutshot is surprisingly good in this deck. Alright, just don't chain like five mana morphos and flip this thing, so we're probably dead if you do. Ungroid, that's the most important month. Welcome back, my friend. Month number two is the most important one. It means you subbed and you decided to come back. Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it very, very much. Everyone show some love and chat for our resub. Draw two, discard two. Okay. <laughs> Phyrexian Obliterator is a horror. Nice. Wow. Discard double arc light and then not have a one mana spell. That is insane. We just got unbelievably lucky. Alright. So right off the bat, bolt this, gut shot it, and we're casting Burning Inquiry. And we're going to hold the land, I think. So I would like the ability to keep these, at least one of these revelers. Yeah. God damn it. Discarded reveler, lore reveler. All right, well, now we're going to get lucky and hit some phoenixes. Nope. Just drew three mountains and discarded three mountains. Okay. Um, we are spinning the wheel. There are five, though, so... We also just gave them an entirely new hand. But we won, so cool. Better lucky than good, I guess. Um, I think we want idle on here. Our sideboard seems bad, because I haven't wanted any of these cards yet. Uh, I mean, Burning Inquiry is kind of scary because they just have their own Arclight Phoenixes and stuff, but we'll board an Eidolon on the play for game three if we lose, because obviously Eidolon seems very good against all their cantrips. I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't want any of these cards. I guess maybe Dismember to kill the, uh, the Thing in the Ices. That takes so much damage, though. All right, we'll bring in two Dismembers. 
killing thing in the ice does seem pretty important. Scab Clan Berserker? It might be. Oh boy. If this looting is good, it's gonna be really good. Take two, they say. Oh my god. Look at it, a turn two reveler here. Maximize velocity, dismember. Let's discard the velocity and a bolt. It's like Streamlabs knows that we're playing Arc Light Bling. Gutshot is weak. I mean, it doubles up to kill the O4s and the Revelers. Serum Visions. Okay. So we're probably going to cast the Revelers' turn, honestly. We'll lose this member, but whatever. We'll see what we draw to, I guess. Jeez. Alright, well, it's time to start chaining these in. How about a phoenix? Jeez. Thanks for following, everyone. Their scry was top, top. Cap Hammer, new sub, what's up my friend? This feels bad. I'm not casting a reveler and discarding five cards in my hand. I'm just gonna say go. So maybe we end up playing Dismember on the thing in the ice, Reveler next turn. That was aggressive. That's really weird. Maybe they have they have their own reveler? No, they're short on that. Burn it! Discarding a Emperor and a Phoenix. That's bad. Huh. Big Botch, new sub. What's up, Big Botch? What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Okay. Let me draw our own Phoenix. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, we could cast Reveler. Like, it's not really great. I don't really want to dismember an Arclight Phoenix. They're just going to get it back next turn anyway. And we don't really have any other options, honestly. We could, like, Reveler and then Velocity it and attack with it for f five. It's, uh, it's kind of crappy, but... Phoenix looting. So now I actually want to just keep... I guess I could maximize velocity of the Phoenix and just hope our looting's good next turn. Yeah. We're just going to draw some spells next turn. And it's going to be cool.
Sure. That Phoenix might come back this turn, but that's fine. Discards looting, discarded thing me ice, thought scour, serum visions, top top. It's the only one Phoenix. Opt. Tormod script? What a jerk. Alright. Well, let's see how good this looting is. They have two cards left? It's not that bad. I don't think I want to just keep the Phoenix to hard cast it. I'll just attack. Sure. Play Flame Blade Adept. We'll hold the land and say go. There's a thing in the ice. And a Bedlam Reveler. Alright. Ninety-three, new sub. What's up, my friend? Welcome. That one's not great. Uh, that's not fiery temper. Okay. Well, now we're kind of in trouble. Reveler costs about a million. There are 12. This is bad. I guess I keep a Reveler in hand. If they double block here, I'm gonna lose the Adepts, but I'm just gonna bluff that we have like something. Inferno, new sub. You guys are all awesome. Thanks for subbing, everyone. Appreciate it. Jeez. I have one card left now. All right. They have looting in the bin too? Yeah, we're probably just dead here. They have a phoenix also. Two phoenixes? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That hand was super awkward. New sub is Eric from Toronto. Favorite, favorite, favorite uh, hockey team? Play Magic since their host. Favorite card is Snapcaster Mage. Favorite Dyke Chess Guy. Puppy name Karn. What's up, Eric? Thanks for subbing. Alright. Um, I don't want that many dismembers. I'm scared of them uh, of just dying. Also, dismember and Eidolon does not look very nice side by side. Do you want these Eidolons? Probably just so awkward. It's like good against us too, kind of. I guess so many can trips though. Alright, let's cut the gut shots. And the maximized velocity, I guess. Not sure how I feel about this. 
I don't want Tormod script. I think it's incorrect to add that card in your deck. Shrine of Burning Rage is for slow matchups. Let's try this. I'm not sure about this. Oh boy. Alright. We'll keep. Hydalon does not look very good in this hand, but... Alright, we're looting. Okay. I'm gonna discard the uh, Eidolon, I think. We're just so spell heavy. Actually, maybe I discard the Burning Inquiry. It's so scary because it makes their stuff better. Yeah, we'll try that. Let's say they have Tormont Script, we still have a threat, too. Discard Arclight Steam Vents. Oh my god. Wow. Well, now we're probably dead, because we didn't draw a land in five cards. So discard Arclight. Can't even play a hollow one either. Ugh. Discard a burning inquiry. And ship the turn begrudgingly. What's up, Michael from Germany? Favorite card, Meandering Tower Shell. Nice. Favorite deck, Green White Ameria and Modern. Car and puppy name, I like it. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate the sub. Black Friday. Blue Blue. Serum Visions. Get the feeling this Arclight Phoenix is probably coming back this turn. Top, top, Thought Scour, Arclight. Ugh. All right. Turn two, double Arclight. And we still can't draw a land. All right. We're guaranteed to draw Mountain, Mountain. No, we're going to draw Mountain, Eidolon, Inquiry, and discard Hollow One, Hollow One, Mountain. They discarded Reveler, Land Land, we discarded Flame Blade, Lore, Dismember, we drew another Arclight Phoenix. Alright. I think we're in trouble. Just throwing that out there. Nothing happened. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. And we draw the mountain right on time. Turn four. Just what we always wanted. I mean, there's no way we're not dead next turn. What? That was definitely attacking. All right, well, that's annoying. We're just dead anyway, whatever. Thanks for following. All 
All right, so surprisingly, the deck with blue cantrips and scry effects is a little more consistent than the deck with burning inquiry and goblin lore. So it's fair. Two hundred one. If you're sitting and welcome to the stream, we're trying out this Hollow One Arclight Phoenix Hybrid. We are two and one. Deck seems pretty cool. Pretty cool so far. Better late than never, but never late is better. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there as well. Right, Burnsy? Burnsy! He's the man. Right, Burnsy? Burnsy did not have a turkey for all for Halloween, for Thanksgiving, because he's a gerbil, and gerbils don't eat turkey. But you got a Cheerio yesterday. Dribbles like Cheerio. Cheerios. Cheerio. We're going to keep. I'm just going to see if we can get this uh, triple thought sees super careful study on. Bombs away. We discarded Arclight Phoenix, Ramanap Ruins, and an Inquiry. And they discarded Remorseful Cleric, Lucky, Wanderer, and Spell Queller. Cool. So there's already two spells in the graveyard. And we're likely to have a Phoenix back next turn. Well, we'll see. We'll see what the Wanderer does. This might be two mana to destroy target Wanderer. Maximize velocity. It's cute. Let's see what they do here. Will they counter it? Yep. All right. It's fine by me. It's three spells in the yard for Reveler. Inquiry is four. Velocity is five. Arc light. So. Do we play our land first? We want to increase the odds of discarding Arclight Phoenix. We would like to keep our Reveler. We'd also like to draw... I guess we need, we need multiple one mana spells because Maximize Velocity isn't currently castable. I'm going to leave the land in my hand. Nah, I'll play it. Big money. We discarded Velocity, Reveler, Adept, and we drew Temper, Phoenix. That's bad. That was not a good one. Uh, now we got nothing. Not a damn thing. We have a hard cast Phoenix next turn, most likely. Spell Queller is active. Hollow One, where were you last turn? Huh? Alright. Um, I don't think I want to do anything. If I cast Arc Light, they just Spell Queller it. That's my only option. Aside from cycling Hollow One, I'm definitely not going to GP Portland. I very rarely, very rarely travel for GPs. Um, yeah, casting Phoenix is bad. They, they just spell caller it and untap and play a Lord, and I'll, I'll never get it back. So, maybe just play a land and say go. Cycling Hollow One is like an option. Hard casting it next turn is also an option. What's up, Dark Lord? The Dark Lord. Noble Hierarch. Really don't know if we cycle this or not.
any sort of discard effect that we cast, they're just going to spell queller. Um, and if we draw a land, just hard cast the hollow one. It's just like not actually that bad. Okay. This is actually gas. So we're going to cast looting. They queller it, we temper it, we recast it, we discard Phoenix, and we get the Phoenix back. And if they don't, if they don't counter it, also great. Good draw, Jim. They let it resolve. And we drew another looting and a temper. So now we get Phoenix, Phoenix is back no matter what. So we discard these two. Do we kill the Noble Hierarch, or we just go to the face? Probably just kill the Noble Hierarch. Cast that. Sure. Cast Looting. This might get spell colored. Either way, two Phoenixes come back, and we cast the Hollow One for one mana. Alright. Uh... I am... Nah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could have maximized velocity and played it for zero, but it doesn't matter, because they... It just doesn't matter, so... Alright, cool. Not too shabby. Excellent. Ten points to Gryffindor. Thanks for following, everyone. Reflector Mage. That's rude. Probably just flash back a looting mountain. That's good. Flashback looting. Reveler? Wow. Um that's awkward. I can't cast Hollow One, right? They just bounced it? Right. So we can just cast the Reveler then. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Let's discard a Mountain Hollow one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six spells in the graveyard. Yeah, this is fun. Let's stack. Rattle chains? I would be happy to trade one of my phoenixes for your rattle chains. Alright. Reveler. Hollow ones are gone, but we'll draw three new cards. Figures. Alright. I'm not above hard casting Phoenix, so. Cool. Wouldn't mind some grim lava mancers in this sideboard. Like two lava mancers? Lava mancers are really good. Dismember is kind of scary, but we probably want it. These maximized velocities have not seemed very good to me. Uh, I feel like too much needs to go right, but then be good. I'll bring in two dismembers. Probably just call it a day. Our sideboard seems bad. We're just like never bringing any cards in. 
Either that or our deck is so good, we never need to sideboard. You know? Sure. This plays. Little flame blade adept. Wouldn't hate Monastery Sister in this deck. I'm not sure what you would like cut for it though. That was a pretty good draw too. It's definitely a turn two Phoenix. All things go according to plan. Turn two Metamorphose, looting, inquiry. It's also a big attack too. Rest in peace. Okay. I mean, it's obviously annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Should probably board one of those revelers out, just keeping that in mind. <laughs> obviously. Um, probably cast Burning Inquiry first, and then I can looting and try and find... Nah, I'll looting first. Try to find hollow ones, obviously. The so question is, is it better to looting first and find the hollow ones and then risk discarding them? Or cast Inquiry and risk discarding the Faithless Looting? I guess we also just we could draw some other card, too. Alright, sure. Discard Reveler, Mountain... These get bigger, cast Inquiry. Ah, we did it! We discarded... Mountain, Inquiry, Mountain. They discarded Reflector Mage, Spellcaller, Phantasmal Image. So, that's some good stuff they just discarded. So, this feels pretty good. Attack for six. Hollow One's obviously kind of our plan B against Graveyard Hate, so... Drog Skull Captain. Hollow one. Alright. We could cycle the hollow one here. I guess if we were going to do that, we should have done it pre combat. I was going to hold it. We'll cast Phoenix next turn. If we draw a land, let's cast a 4 4. Like, they're already at 8. So. Eh, maybe I should have cycled. They're so low that um it's interesting. Means they probably have a path, that's really bad for us. Alright. I guess we just fire us off, right? Yeah. If they have path, they go to one here. Maybe the flame blade shouldn't attack. They path hollow one, double block flame blade. If they don't have path, they can just go to one. Just kill my flame blade. If they do have a path, can I even win anymore? Probably not, honestly. If they path hollow one, they take three, and they play an, a, another spirit lord, and now we're just locked out of the game for the most part. Yeah, if they have path, we can't win anyway. I'll just attack. They have path. Okay. No, they don't have path. Wow. That's interesting. I mean, now they're at one, and we have tons of outs in our deck to just kill them. We have lightning bolts and fiery tempers. Ramanap ruins. Um, gut shot, lightning bolt, fire temper. We were gonna looting, but that, that was a good way to go. That was pretty funny. So to be fair, to be fair, we have not dealt a single point of damage to ourselves, the Ramanap Bruins, and we've dealt two points of damage to our opponent. So it's pretty funny. <sighs> uh -huh. 
Ramanap Ruins too strong. Why am I not playing Goblin Rabble Master? I'll pose to you why should I be playing Goblin Rabble Master? 3 1, trying to avoid the dreaded 3 2. Against Oink Mage. Maximize Velocity looking pretty ugly here. Ah. Uh... Sand's pretty bad. I mean, one looting goblin lore or that other one that's super random makes this hand fine. Ugh. Yeah, I was just mulligan. This this card looks so bad. All right, mulligan. All right. Top. Bomac courier. I mean, it's not a it's not a spell, you know. Oh man, I wish, I wish I had that gut shot lightning bolt hand still. I'm not gonna cast the Thalia, I'm never gonna cast a spell for the rest of the game. I do agree, Bowmat Courier is a very good card that's underplayed. How did you get here? We Thanks for following. Yeah, <laughs> oh, the boot. I think we're just firing off here. We discarded Goblin Lore and Double Fiery Temper. Wow. It's almost like we're playing cards that draw cards and then discard them randomly. <laughs> Good lord. <sighs> we could just draw like Burning Inquiry into Burning Inquiry and all of a sudden we have a really good hand, right? Oh yeah, play the Freebooter. I'm so glad they played Freebooter. I couldn't be happier. Yep, here's my hand. There it is. For the world to see. Are we dead yet? Next turn, probably. Man, we could just draw another, another mountain for a little uh, complaint equity. The 3 2 dream is alive and well. Um, I wish I had some Lava Mancers. Grim Lava Mancers is so good. Alright. Our sideboard's terrible. I don't really want any of these. I guess I want some dismembers, I guess. Maximize velocity seems real bad. Uh, humans is not too good. They're not going to ban any cards from it. What's up, Genomancer? Yeah, it was, that was a tough one. This is our deck. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're trying out this Hollow One Arclight Phoenix hybrid deck. We're 3 and 1. Deck seems cool. Um. Yeah, our sideboard's real bad, but Eidolon's not good here at all. Eidolon just seems bad in general, honestly. It only seems good against, like, specifically Storm. I guess... Yeah, I think maybe Aether Vial is, like, the card that, like, you can ban that makes humans, like, worse enough. Like, a lot of their best starts come from Aether Vial. It's not necessarily like it's a broken card or anything. 
but it has precedent for being banned before. It's an uncommon, like, our turn two here is pretty weird. Speaking of the devil, like, we kind of want to hold on to Goblin Lore for turn three, so we can discard Fiery Temper, possibly. But we also have nothing to do here. So I think we're just going to fire off. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, no, it's every time. All right. We just draw, we discard all of our spells and draw all lands. Uh, never draw a hollow one. That's brutal as hell. Gut shot's good. Let's draw looting. If this deck could play eight lootings, it would be the, the best deck in the format by a mile. Are we gonna get booted? No? Okay. Thalia's Lieutenant? All right. Noble Hierarch. Do we gut shot the Lieutenant? Maybe. Probably. Yeah. We drew looting. That sucks. Now I wish I, I wish I held on to that gut shot, but obviously didn't know I was drawing looting. Uh, when we draw two spells off looting, we can get our phoenixes back or phoenix back. But I also kind of want to cast the adept before I cast looting. I always flash it back. All right, let's just loot and see what happens. Temper hollow one. Damn. Only two spells, though. It kind of sucks. All right, discard Temper and a Mountain. If I Temper, I can't cast Hollow One, though. Oh, man. This is tough. I better just a not temper. I should have discarded a temper. That was stupid. Um, yeah, that was that was just a mistake. As I want to cast adept and hollow one here, I should have discarded a land. That was just really stupid. That's a bad play on my part. Also, we'd hold the spell in our hand for phoenix later. That was just a really bad play. That was dumb. Just like autopiloting, casting looting, and then just seeing the temper and be like, oh, discard temper. Yeah, I didn't think that one out. Okay. Um. We're just not going to cast it. Getting on the board is more important. No Nicole here. Nicole's at work. All right, so now we're on the board pretty strong. Our looting next turn flashback is kind of nice. We had a land drop, but we I want to play both things. This makes for the best attack this turn. They're already at 13. So this ruins in my hand should be a fiery temper, not, not a ruins. Vile for two. Is it boot? Cool. No reflector mage, please. Ah, That's brutal. All 
All right. It's kind of funny. Um. They have two cards left. If we cast Looting and discard Phoenix, it's almost impossible to get the Phoenix back this turn. I kind of want to keep this land in our hand as fodder for Looting. All right, I think we just cast it. I only have two cards left. They're chump blocking? Cool. That feels kind of nice. Burnsy man. Cause you're the Burnsy man. Chewing on that tissue paper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pokemon. Let's draw Bedlam Reveler. Champion of the Parish. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mantis Rider. Yikes. Okay. That's kind of okay. Hollow one. That's less okay. Looting? Temper? Okay. I have only discarded two cards. Therefore, my hollow one does not do anything. Because I cannot keep the land to cast. Hollow ones have been awkward. Um. Temper to kill a Mantis Rider. And I think we're just getting dirty. I with everything, probably. Why would you keep the land? To activate Ramanap Ruins? No, I guess the two damage probably doesn't matter. I don't think Hollow One's going to ever matter. It would just literally be the cycle on it that matters. Um... Yeah, shield. Maybe we could cycle into a bolt. Oh, so, uh, it triggers flame blade adapts too, actually. Alright, that's going there. And then F6. Alright, we discarded two cards this turn. Yeah, Banamorphos somehow counted as a discard also. That'd be cool, but alright, so we're gonna just team. They have to block at least one thing. The next turn we have the threat of Ramanap Ruins as well as the threat of two Menace Attackers and the Flyers. Sure. This is obviously a great exchange for us. Cool. 12 to 6 and we have the board. Not a bad series of draws there for us. Thalia. Don't reflect your major me. <sighs> Uh, all right. Lightning bolt. I think we cycle hollow one here and try and get really lucky. And then we can just bolt the 
Thalia an attack for... I guess you can't get lucky as a Thalia in play. But yeah, we're just gonna... We'll cycle... Mountain. Yeah, we'll just bolt Thalia attack. Otherwise they can block in first strike. So... Puts them to four. It's also a Ramanap Ruins in play, as well as an Arc Light in our hand and in our graveyard. So this puts them pretty threatening, threateningly close to death. And we're still at nine. So we're at worst on a turn two clock. They, they attack us, we kill them on the crackback. Oof. That's seven. What are the benefits of this deck over Stock Hollow one? I mean, just different. More burn spells, more focused. Uh, that was really good. All right, here we go. Huh. Lightning Bolt, Goblin Lore. So now we get to bolt something and then cast Goblin Lore and then get back our Phoenixes and kill them probably. Right? Yeah, there's dead. So bolt them. Prowess. Cast Goblin Lore. Discard three mountains. <laughs> Draw three mountains, discard two mountains. Okay, sure. Am I dumb? That's not a spell, is it? I'm stupid. I just punted the game. I, for some reason, I thought our Phoenixes were coming back, and they were not. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, well, they're at one. So we still attack, and everything they have dot. Oh, nope, doesn't work either. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. Yeah. All right, so we attack. They block with two things. Now we're just dead. Nope, we have a blocker. I don't know. We're, we're, we're definitely attacking, but... It just kills two things instead of one. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. Hmm. All right. Well, either way, I think it's unlikely they can kill us this turn unless they draw exactly Reflector Mage or a Phantasmal Image or a Mantis Rider. They have a lot of outs. And they died of this on our turn. All right, we won. So what should we have done there? Given that, I guess we just didn't draw three spells. I don't know if we had a better play there, honestly. I'm not sure. All right, whatever. Um, yep, yeah, we will play. Bolt Hierarch? Eh, maybe. All right, Oink Mage. This hand is something else. We're gonna keep. This hand is as good as this Burning Inquiry is. We could just bolt the Noble Hierarch and then turn two Manamorphos, Manamorphos Inquiry and try and get the Phoenix back also. That's if we even discard it. Nah. Bolting the bird doesn't stop them from playing turn two Thalia. And turn two Thalia is the card we're really scared of, so we're not bolting the bird. One of the most overused maxims in Magic is bolt the bird. It's just wrong a lot of the time. Like. Yeah, we're going to Inquiry here. If we bolt it and they have Thalia, we can't do anything. So let's just not bolt the, the crappy bird when their deck is full of good creatures and just cast Burning Inquiry and can't put a Hollow One into play. All right, no bad luck here. We're going to draw Mountain, Hollow One, Arclight Phoenix, and discard Manamorphos, Manamorphos, Hollow One. We 
Goku discarded. Manamorphose, Arc Light Phoenix, Fiery Temper. Alright. That's fine. Get a horse. Blue. Red. Oh, this is great. This is so good for us. This game's over. Another hollow one. Red, red. Faithless looting. Okay. I think I like looting over one of these removal spells. Make it lucky and get a discard outlet for another hollow one. So that's one spell. Two spells. Bolt Mountain. Alright, let's discard... Flame Blade Adept. Hey, just Hollow One. Adept Hollow One, and then Bolt the Mantis Rider and attack for seven. With two kill spells in our hand? Yeah, I like that. Not a bad turn, too, you know? We can have Reflector Mage here, it's fine. Talk about your all-time blowouts. I mean, games that aren't remotely close. Four, it's ten, go to one, yeah. So they're going to go to four... Yeah, we're going to bolt the Noble Hierarch to try and turn... If they had Reflector Mage, they would have cast it last turn. So I don't want to let them draw Reflector Mage. And... Or double spell. So we're going to kill the, We're going to kill this now. And now they're at four. We have a lethal attacker, and then if we draw a land, two more lethal attackers. Yeah. No Thalias? No problem. Cool. So, I'm not sure about this deck, honestly. I went four and one. And there's some pretty powerful stuff happening here. Partly just because the Faithless Looting Arclight Phoenix shell is just so good. Um, Hollow One was obviously very good at times. Maximized Velocity was very bad. Gutshot was quite good, actually. Revelers is very good. I'm not sure. I'm still, this deck just always perplexes me. We've been trying to find the right Arclight Phoenix bid build forever now. Um, and I don't like that you can't cast Hollow One off of looting effectively. And obviously the Burning Inquiries and Goblin Lores are pretty high variants. That being said, they do turbocharge the Revelers kind of nice. Um, I think I wouldn't mind a fourth Reveler. Um... The maximized velocities were definitely bad, though, like actively bad. So I'd probably cut those, probably play the fourth Reveler, and then Fiery Temper's weird, because, like, it's obviously cool if we discard it randomly. We don't know if we're going to or not. I can see maybe a third gut shot, honestly, because we're kind of all in in that regard. I don't think you want Street Wraith. Um, you could... It's only good with Hollow One, basically, and I guess Flame Blade Adept. I feel like I wouldn't hate playing Monastery of in this deck, either. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm going to try some more. But the Cyborg is terrible. Um, Eidolon seems awful. There's too many dismembers. Um, I would like some Abrades. I would like two Lava Mancers. Like, two Abrade, two Lava Mancer, two dismembers, zero Eidolon. Um... I'm not sure what the best, like, combo Haiti card is. Shrine's good. Four Tormod Script might be too many. I might also want, I want a mix of Surgical and Tormod Script. Because Surgical is obviously an insane in this deck, because not only is it just a good card, it's also a free spell. So it's really good for our, our Revelers and our, our Phoenixes and whatever. So I like Surgical a lot in this sideboard. Um, so I'd probably be the changes I would make. Cut to Velocity, add a Reveler, and... 
maybe a gut shot, and then I would cut Dismember, I would cut the Eidolons, I would add two Abrades, two Lava Mancers, maybe play two Surgical, two Tormod Script, something like that. Um, our Lava Mancer is good when people are playing Graveyard Hate. I would say that Lava Mancer is good against decks that, that are not bringing in Graveyard Hate. Humans, Infect, um, Affinity stuff, so... As far as Street Wraith goes, I'm not sure. It is not a spell, doesn't trigger Prowess, doesn't make Reveler cheaper, doesn't make Phoenix come back, makes your opening hands awkward, the life isn't free. I'm not sure, honestly. Like, the slots ain't free, you know? Might be worth a shot, but for now, that's what I got. So, um, deck seems cool. So, if you're watching on YouTube, this video is going to end, but the stream will continue. Coming up next, we're playing Ross Merriam's Arclight phoenix deck is it with crackling drake this is the deck that ross played a top eight of the open last weekend and as my teammate and friend the list he did not share with me because he's kind of a jerk so next <laughs> next legs making fun of ross stream all right so if you're watching on youtube make sure you look for that one on the youtube somewhere otherwise i'll see you guys later and the stream will continue